think at Lyme Barrow we soloed harder grades than I ever have. He's free soloed some of the tallest skyscrapers in the world. He's been arrested over a hundred times. He's free soloed some of the hardest rock routes in the world. He's had accidents so bad he's been declared 65% disabled and told he'd never climb again. This is the story of Alain Rubert. And so years before his fame, arrests and soloing buildings like these, he was actually a serious good rock climber. And I don't mean like local gym wad good, I mean like good good. Like one of the best free soloers of his time and regarded by Honnold himself as one of the first people to push free soloing. Well, I think Alain Robert was, was one of the, the first people to really free solo very difficult routes. I mean, really, I think that what he's done on rock is much closer to the cutting edge. The most relevant part of the, the grades that Alain was soloing in the 80s is just how close to the limit of human potential they were at the time. Alain was free soloing 513D when 514 was the hardest sport grade being climbed. Nobody is doing that now. To be pushing free soloing right to the line of what at the time was considered possible. So what I'm trying to get across is that Alain wasn't just some lad who had dabbled in rock before spending a career on buildings. He has had a fucking amazing rock climbing career. 